Welcome to our lecture online. Next, we need to define, or at least review, if you've seen this before, how to express a small displacement dr in cylindrical coordinates. So let's say we have an initial point p right here. Now we want to find another point nearby. So we have a small little displacement vector dr. How do we express that in terms of the unit vectors in cylindrical coordinates? So what we're going to do here is we're going to express dr as the change in the position vector with respect to rho times d rho plus the change in the position vector with respect to phi times d phi plus the change in the position vector with respect to z times dz. So this is how we can express a small change in the position vector. So now from the previous video we remember that the partial derivative of the position vector with respect to rho is a vector pointing in the direction of rho. And the partial derivative of the position vector with respect to phi is equal to a vector pointing in the direction of phi. And then finally, the partial derivative of the position vector r with respect to z is the, is the vector pointing in the direction of z. But how do we then convert that to unit vectors? Well, in terms of rho and z, that's the exact same amount because we know that the magnitude of these two vectors, when we take the partial derivative of the position vector, the magnitude of those two will be equal to 1. But the magnitude of this vector was rho times this. So when we go ahead and convert this to the position vector, we have to also multiply this times rho. So rho times this will equal the length of this vector. And if we then want to express the change in r, which is in case in the three dimensions, we have to then account for the fact that this magnitude is 1 times rho, so we have to then multiply this times rho when we want to use the unit vector. Now, if you don't like the notation of the little letter e sub rho sub phi sub z, you can replace those simply by rho with a little hat on it, phi with a little hat, z with a little hat, that also represent the three unit vectors in cylindrical coordinates, and many of us are used to seeing like this rather than this. It all depends what textbook to use. So there you go. That is now how we can express a small change in the position vector in terms of rho, phi, and z unit vectors. And that's how it's done.